The lady in this next story did what she felt she had to do. She was mad because her Chinese food didn't taste as good as she hoped. So she called 911 to complain. Fortunately for us, we got the call and it was recorded. What's the problem? I have bought some Chinese food and it's not to par to me and I asked to get my money back and they acted like they don't understand me and took my food and won't give me my money back. And this is why you called 911? Um, what am I supposed to do? Jump over the thing and beat them up and get my money back? I could have called the regular police line instead of the life-threatening emergency line. This woman, 43-year-old Bernadette Music from Norwood, is charged with disorderly conduct. Police say two weekends ago she called 911 at least four times looking for a date. When police showed up to talk to her about a document show, she refused to answer the door, then urinated in the hallway outside her apartments. She was arrested at the time. What's going on? I was just growing some marijuana. I was just wondering what the, how much, you know, trouble you can get into for one plant. You're growing marijuana and you want to know how much, depends on how big the plant is. It's only a seedling. It didn't take long for police to track the call to Michelson's home. There they found a small amount of marijuana and drug paraphernalia. It's a first. Yeah, I, I can't say I've ever uh, had this happen before. Michelson admitted he bought seeds and equipment for growing. Police then charged him with marijuana possession and other crimes. Michelson was later released on $5,000 bail. He had no comment on his arrest, but he did have a not-so-subtle message as he left the police station. He spun around and uh, stuck both middle fingers up at the dispatchers. Only on 12 tonight, an example of why you need a prescription for Viagra. A man in Washington County found out why. Where do you, what do you need medical for? Um, actually, um, what's the no problem lab. is um, I took some pills and um, actually um, I took um, two um, Viagra um, pills and um, my erection had been up for like four days and there hasn't been any signs of change whatsoever and I'm really sick. What happens if you dial 911 because a restaurant got your order wrong? Well, that landed one man in jail. I'm up here at uh, McDonald's up here, and I had ordered like uh, seven burgers, and I went to my vehicle, right, and uh. I, I came by telling that they, get, they took a uh, burger from me. Lorenzo Riggins was hungry when he walked into the East Albany McDonald's last night. I went in the order seven Mike, Mike Doubles and one chicken and one fry. But after he walked outside, he says he noticed that wasn't what he got. I left at the store without checking it. But when I got, when I got to my truck and I got ready to leave, I looked in the bag. And come to find out I ain't have but six Mike Doubles. Riggins says he took the bag inside and talked to an employee hoping to get his other hamburger. But things didn't turn out so well. You no, know, most people who smoke know just what it's like to want a cigarette and not have one. Most of them would never think of calling 911 like this Granberry grandmother did. Well, we caught up with her just a few hours ago and asked her what she was thinking. Well, we were just kicking it in the backyard. Just, you know, a few beers too many and then... Next thing you know, we're out of cigarettes. Well, I didn't want to drive to town, so. So Linda White grabbed her cell phone. Head County 911, what is the address of your emergency? That's right. She called 911. Hello. Hello. I need some cigarettes. I was drunk. Charlotte County man is arrested after deputies say he called 911 because he could not bring his kitten into a strip club. 47-year-old Everett Lagus is in jail on $4,000 bond. Deputies say he tried to bring that kitten into the Emerald City Gentlemen's Club. When the owner told him he had to leave, he reportedly sat down outside the business and called 911. All right, here's the scenario, folks. You get home from work, right? You go to freshen up. There's a stranger taking a shower in your bathroom. I'm not kidding. Look at this. Okay, and the guy is white, black, and Asian? I have no idea. He was in the bathroom. Okay, hold on a second. And the door's shut. And he says he's in there. And I said, who the hell are you? <laughs> okay. And he said, Timothy something. I totally forgot his name. Okay. And he said he broke in? He said he broke in and he was kidnapped and he was taking a shower. Okay. Yeah, he's just uh, rinsing off. He'll be right out in a minute. But this gets better, okay? The intruder who was in the shower. I can't believe she was laughing about it. I think I would be completely freaked out if someone was in my shower. But he apparently feared for his own safety because the homeowner showed up. So he picked up the phone and called 911 from inside the house at the same time and listened to what he said. 911? I just broke into the house and the owner came home. 
You broke into a house? Yeah. Where at? I don't know. Talk emergency? It's not an emergency. I walked up, they wouldn't serve me. So I meant to talk about it, hung through some, and watch the camp. Yeah, I just want some tacos. That's it. Kimball tells the dispatcher he has the munchies. According to the police report, he'd been drinking alcohol. What are the employees saying? You can't walk up, you gotta drive up. You gotta eat DUI to get a taco. I get the munchies, and I walk a quarter mile from here. Are you gonna, are you gonna help me out, or do I have to get arrested to get home? You know what I'm saying? Well, we're not gonna take you home. I, mean, look, no, I, don't, want, I, don't, I don't want you to I, I want you to call the manager. He did tell the dispatcher, though, the reason he called Largo Police. When I get refused service for no reason, it, it pees me off, so I call you guys. Does that make sense? Police say calling 911 for tacos does not make any sense. Alana Sims from Sterling Heights made a costly mistake. She had too much to drink while a Joe Cools on Big Beaver and Troy, and rather than drive drunk, called 911 looking for a ride. 911, where is your emergency? I just need an escort. What do you mean? I need an escort to home. That's when she hung up, probably realizing a 911 call was a bad idea. A 53 year old Kerrville woman is arrested after calling 911 when her husband wouldn't eat his dinner. She was, had called 911 because her husband uh, was not wanting to eat his supper. The time before, police say Benson called 911 because. She couldn't find her clothes. Another time because her dogs had gotten loose. 911 dispatchers in Clarksville are receiving some very weird calls, including one from a woman who was upset because her boyfriend wouldn't marry her. 911. Montgomery County dispatchers received a strange call Monday morning from someone at this apartment complex. Okay, ma'am, what were you calling for? Actually, they received several. According to a police report, he Orama dialed 911 repeatedly because a man lied about marrying her. According to a police affidavit, when the 68-year-old's granddaughter refused to go buy her a beer, Pate called 911 to report her beer emergency. The police report says Pate told officers after she slapped her granddaughter, she called them for police assistance in getting a beer. Bertha Ring Chamber sits outside her Lauderdale Court's apartment, fresh out of jail. Her crime? Calling 911 because she didn't want to babysit her grandkids. They said you were upset? Yes, I was. About babysitting? Yeah. Why would you call 911 about babysitting? But I get tired of babysitting. You heard me. I get tired of babysitting. Check for 911, Williams. I got, I got a situation over here with uh, Subway, uh, Sandwich Shop. Okay, so what's going on there? Well, I ordered two sandwiches. And I asked for everything on one sandwich, and the other one I asked for certain things on the other sandwich. I didn't get what I paid for. This is what Reginald Peterson considers an emergency worthy of a 911 call. He didn't get mustard and mayonnaise on his two subway footlongs Thursday night. I'm not going to sit and pay $12 or $10 for some sandwiches and don't get what I paid for. Everybody thinks it's funny, but I mean, when you get down to it, it's serious. Subway's manager tells me employees were so scared over Peterson's behavior, they locked the door on him when he went outside to call 911. I'm on the phone with you. The, 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 the employee just came up here and locked the freaking door. And they got both of the sandwiches. They did not make right for me inside the store. Lorna Dudash is the person who called 911. And she could go to jail for it. 911, do you need fire, medical, or police? No, ma'am, I don't. I don't have an emergency. Two police officers just left my house just now. Third, can we get their names, please? Do you need them to come back there? Oh, I'd like that, yeah. Why do you need them to come back there? For? Um, because I have an emergency. I'll, th I'll think of something. Honey, I'm just going to be honest with you, okay? I just thought he was cute. I'm 45 years old, and I'd like to meet him again. But I don't know how to go about doing that without calling 911. I know this is not absolutely in a way, shape, or form an emergency. Covering Florida, a Naples man facing charges after calling 911 ten times asking for a ride to Mexico. When dispatch centers take all kinds of emergency calls, the one they took last Friday from a Youngstown, Ohio man might be one of the more bizarre ones. He called because he said he was, quote, too high. Have a listen to this. And what's the problem? I'm too high. You're too high? 
Yeah. What What'd you take? I can't feel anything. Your what? I can't feel anything. Okay. What did you take? Weed. Weed. Yes. Officers found the 22-year-old curled in a fetal position surrounded by Doritos, goldfish, crackers, and chips ahoy. They're cookies. Sounds like a joke, but it's not. He was complaining he couldn't feel his hands. He refused medical treatment and was charged with drug possession. Well, a fast food customer this morning now is defending her decision to call 911 after her McDonald's ran out of McNuggets. Police arrested this woman, Latresa Goodman, and charged her with misusing 911 after she called three times to report McDonald's was out of Chicken McNuggets and wouldn't give her a refund. Officers say Goodman told a 911 operator the situation was an emergency and that the restaurant's employees wanted to give her another menu item instead of a refund. Now Goodman's speaking out. She says there is more to the story. And if I would have handled matters in my own hand, then I would have been in trouble, which I wanted to handle matters in my own hand. What did you and want so, to do? <laughs> and I wanted to jump across that counter, but I understand it's not her fault. She's just doing her job. And but so that's why I was young. She wouldn't give my money back. You have emergency? A cheeseburger. Have a good day.